Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen and today I'm going to film for you my makeup basket. So it's been two weeks and I used almost every product in my last basket which is really great, really exciting to me because I did pull a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that I didn't use in the last basket and I will be carrying those things over to this next basket. I think I want to do my baskets in the style that Lisa Stevens does hers where she will carry a product over to the next basket until she uses it or until she feels she gets significant use out of that product. I have so much stuff um, that I don't know that I'm going to get significant use out of something, but at least if I have used it, I can decide whether I like it, whether I want to declutter it, or put it back into my collection. I haven't decided I wanted to declutter anything yet, but um, that is kind of the idea of that. So. Um, I had a couple of things, including a couple of lip products, one of them I don't have right here that I didn't use in the last basket. So I'll go ahead and get started with showing you those. And there are some products that I used in the last basket that I really just want to carry over to the next one. So I have everything in here with the exception of my new products that I'm going to go ahead and pull in. I do have those in a little basket. I'll show you those in a minute. But I will go ahead and get into the products that I didn't get to use and the ones that I want to carry over to the next basket. So the first product that I have is my MAC Super Watt Electric Cool Eyeshadow. I did get to use the other one in something gilt, and I really enjoyed that. I used that mixed in with some other gold shades, so I didn't really get to use it as a standout on the lid by itself. But you don't do that with every single shadow or every single product you have. Sometimes they're just good to be there as an accent or mix in with other shadows and stuff. So I'm not too worried about that. But I did get use out of it. So I am going to carry this over to the next basket because I didn't get to use this shadow. And I do think that I can come up with some good looks um, for this with some of the other products that I'm going to have in this basket. The next product I didn't get a chance to use was this MAC Pigment in Whisper Pink and I really do want to get a chance to use this all over my eyelids because I think it's going to be a really nice bright lid and I'm really excited to use this. I can't believe I didn't use it in the last basket but I am very proud of myself for using almost every single one of the products that I pulled in the last basket because I have been using or pulling a lot of products and I do have a lot of projects going on so I'm still trying to make progress on the things that I have in projects so I'm really really proud of myself that I have been able to um, pull off, you know, using almost every product in my basket. Um, so I'm going to pull that over. Um, one product that I hadn't used up until today, and it really, really intimidated me. That's why I didn't want to use it. And this is this um, Flower Beauty. This is the powder to cream blush in the shade Tickled Pink. I am wearing this today, and I am so, 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 so impressed with this product. It is beautiful. It goes on the skin flawlessly. I am so impressed with this product. I love the color and I just, I love how it wears on the skin. Super, super impressed with this product. I am going to put it back into um, this basket too because I only got to wear it one time. So even though I use this, I'm going to go ahead and pull this over to the next basket as well because I may want to use it again just because it is such a nice bright color and it is not intimidating to use at all. One of the other products that I didn't get to is this bite uh, multi-stick little sample thing and I don't know that I'm going to use this because this isn't going to be very feasible for me to reapply throughout the day. I don't do the lip brush thing. I work in a hospital. It's just not a feasible thing for me. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as samples that I can put in little packages that I send to people. I do sell products on my Instagram, my selling Instagram, which is Kaylee Deckert Sells, and I will go ahead and link that down below. I'll put it on the screen here and go ahead and link that down below so you guys can go and check that out. I don't have any active sales going on right now, but I will put this in as something that I can just send as a little freebie to somebody. I'll put that aside for that. A um, couple of things that I want to, actually that I didn't mention in the last basket, but that I got a ton of use out of in the last basket, and I want to carry these over to the next basket just in case I feel like popping them on the lid, and that is these Stila Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows. I love these so much. I have them in the shade Sunset Cove, which is that really nice pinky, kind of bluish purple 
um, duochrome. I have the Sea Siren, which is the really pink and like fuchsia purple um, shift. I have the Into the Blue, which is the blue, purple, green kind of duochrome shift. I have the Smoldering Satin, which is one of the really glittery ones. And I have the Ballet Baby, which is also kind of glittery, but not as glittery as that Smoldering Satin shade. So these are just really nice to kind of pop on the lid. I have done um, glitter up underneath my brow. I would like to do a glitter cut crease, but that kind of scares me. But I am going to go ahead and keep these in this basket. One of the lip products that I didn't get to use is the MAC Dazzle Glass in Baby Sparks. So I want to get some use out of this. I could actually put it over the lipstick that I'm wearing today, which is the MAC Cinderella Royal Ball, I think it's called, lipstick. And that is in one of my project pans. So I'm going to keep this in. Also, the Cream Sheen Glass that I pulled, that purple glitter one, I didn't get to use. Uh, I did use Infinitely Likeable, and I love that lip gloss so much. I think it's still in my purse, but I loved that so much. I, I can't believe I haven't pulled it out and worn it more often. Um, one of the products that I really, really loved, and it's no surprise to me because I love this product and couldn't wait to pull it in, is this Buxom bronzer in the shade Maldives or Maldives, and I really, really love this. I'm wearing this today. Beautiful, beautiful bronzer. has that really nice coconutty kind of scent to it. This is what prevented me from buying the um, Mew, 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 whatever, butter bronzer from Physicians Formula because I already have something that I love with that scent. Something I'm wearing today that this is only the second time I've worn it is this Nude Radiance Fresh Glow from um, Burberry. And I love this so much. I'm debating putting this in the next basket. Also, this product. I may just kind of put these in my everyday makeup drawer. And if I feel like wearing these, I will just wear them for the day. Um, because I do have quite a few bronzers and highlighters for this next basket. So these are just going to go in my everyday makeup drawer. And those will just be there if I feel like wearing them. Two blushes that really stood out to me in the last basket besides that Flower Beauty are my two MAC blushes that I pulled or two of the three MAC blush blushes that I pulled. One that I wore very, very often was this Azalea in the Afternoon when I just wanted a really nice pink kind of sheeny blush for the day. I wore this. I wore this several times. Really, really enjoyed this. This is going to go back in my collection. And the MAC blush in the shade Dolly Mix. This is also going to go back in my collection because I do have that really bright pink in the flower um, blush that I can use. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my collection, but I really, really enjoyed that as well. Um, and another product that I'm going to carry over into the next basket is this MAC Quad. This is the Rimmel Dabia Dahabia palette. This has a soft, soft brown. This has shroom, I believe it is. Yes. And this shade right here, which is Beauty Burst, is so gorgeous on the, la on the lower lash line. I love that so, so much. So I want to pop that onto the lower lash line sometimes. This I use on my, um brow bone and then the um soft brown i've been using in my crease so that's why i want to carry that over to the next basket and what i said that i was maybe going to use that i did not use at all i'm going to carry over is this um Too faced natural loves palette you'll see why when i get to the products that i'm going to pull in um for this basket because i just kind of want to have some options and some variety in case I don't feel like using the products that I've pulled. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this over because I didn't get to use it in the last basket because I did have so much going on with the eyes. I've been doing a lot of um, Disney princess inspired makeup looks to go along with my Disney princess roulette that I'm doing. I'll link that down below. Please go ahead and check that out and check out all the ladies that are involved in that collab as well. Having so much fun doing that project. Love it so, so much. Another thing that I really enjoyed when I used it is my Naked 3 palette. Really, really enjoyed this. Um, I got a couple looks out of this that I would really like to do again. Another thing that I just want to have in case I don't feel like using the products that I'm pulling for this basket. So 
Another thing is I want to try and pan this next year. So I really want to get as much use out of this palette as I can. So another, what I think I'm going to do with this is put it in my everyday makeup drawer as well. So that if I just feel like a nice rosy eye look one day, I'll go ahead and pull this out. So this is going to go in my everyday makeup drawer. And now on to the products that I'm going to pull for this basket. So pretty much all my face products are going to stay the same. I'm going to use the same Laura Geller face primer that I've been using. I've used up all of my little mini face primers that I'm using currently. I may have a couple more that I pull in with my next Turn and Burn um, and June Use Up or Use It Up um, video that I do. But the ones that I'm currently using are used up, so I will continue to use that same primer. But I wanted to pull in a new foundation. This is my Dior, Dior Skin Star foundation that I purchased so, so very long ago because I had had a sample of this and I really enjoyed it. Pardon the dogs barking next door, I apologize. Um, I really, really enjoyed this and I purchased this when... Uh, Dillard's had a makeup or like a foundation sale going on and this was sitting in my drawer just not being used so I wanted to go ahead and pull this out and use this. As far as powders go, I did use the Kat Von D loose powder in the last basket. I should have pulled that to kind of mention at the beginning of this video. Um, I used that to set my primer but when I used it to set my face, I did not enjoy the way my makeup looked at the end of the day. It could have been the combo with that foundation, but I didn't use it again for that purpose because I didn't, um, I was working, so I didn't have the time to really experiment. I may go ahead and experiment with other foundations with that, um, like when I'm off and stuff, but I haven't done that. So I will continue to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder for setting my primer. I have my Milani powder for my regular face powder. So I'll go and get go ahead and get into the products that I'm going to use for this basket. And so I was watching um, Jen from Glam Moms. Totally went out of my head for a second. I was watching Jen from Glam Moms and she had mentioned pulling her Bare Minerals um, bronzer. This is the the Beach is Waiting um, Ready Bronzer, or yeah, Ready Color Boost Bronzer, and that got me thinking. I have all of my Bare Minerals product in, products in one little box, and it's sitting in my makeup collection, and I said, you know what? I said, I want to pull that out, but I don't use my Bare Minerals products at all, like, at all. So, I really, really just wanted to pull most of my Bare Minerals products, so I said, why don't I just pull all of my Bare Minerals products. So I'll go ahead and get into these products. There are several um, bronzer products. There are a couple of blush products and a bunch of eye products. So I'll go ahead and get into the bronzer, blush, and highlight products here. So starting with bronzer, I have the infamous um, Bare Minerals Warmth Bronzer. This is a very warm tone, almost orangey leaning bronzer. I was very surprised when I swatched this because it wasn't what I remember it being. I was intrigued also because Jessica from Beauty and Baseball pressed this product for one of her projects. Um, so... That's actually for her Mission Impossible project, which I am going to film today after this video because I want to jump in on that. But anyways, um, I wanted to, you know, just give this a shot because I was very intrigued by what her pressed product looked like. I don't think I'm going to try and press this, but I am going to try and use this as a loose bronzer. A bronzer that I haven't used since I got it, but I was really excited to get it for some reason, is the Bare Minerals Ready Bronzer in the Skinny Dip. So this is a little bit more of an orange tone bronzer as well. A little bit on the deeper side. Really excited to um, give this one a shot. And the Beach is Waiting Bare Minerals Bronzer. I really do enjoy this. Um, it's got three different shades in here. There is a lighter shade, a even lighter shade here in the middle, and a darker shade over here. And I plan to just swirl all these together, but I may just um, single out each side and just see how that works for me. Um, as far as face products, 
I'm glad I'm getting into face products. Um, I do have the Bare Minerals um, Concealer and Well Rested, so I am going to try using this underneath my eyes. I have been using my MAC Studio Fix Concealer underneath my eyes as a color corrector, so I will top this with this. I didn't bring that out to show you for this basket, but I am using that. Um, and then even though I'm going to continue to use the Laura Mercier, I will use this um, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and try that out and see how I like that because I do have this one and I think a whole nother backup, if not two, of this product. So I definitely want to start working those out of my collection anyways. Um, and then a highlighter that I have. This is the Daydream from Bare Minerals. So... This is just a nice pinky luminous highlighter. It's a little more on the subtle side, at least from what I could tell from my swatch on my hand, but it does look super beautiful. As far as eyeshadows go, I have three little um, duos. The first one here is this um, In the Nick of Time or The Nick of Time, Enchant and Kismet. It's a really light shade here with some glitter in it and a really kind of um, reddish brown matte right here. Then I have my little duo in uh, Mixologist and Cognac. You know I finished up the Mixologist shade as a highlighter and I have not touched Cognac so I thought I could um, give that a go. Finally get some use out of that. And this is the Bare Minerals The Late Show and this is Guest Star and Uncensored. So Guest Star is right here. Um, this bronzy shade right here and um, Uncensored is right here, this purpley, um, very glittery shade right here. So then I have these loose pigment shadows right here. This first one right here is in Soul. This next one right here, um, I have three that came in a set. So these next three, this one is Meow, and this is a very gorgeous gold shade, really bright yellow gold, gorgeous, gorgeous shade here. This one is in the shade Pussycat. This is a very pretty bronze shade. And this is in the shade Catwoman. This is a very dark black, like grayish black shade. And it's got a lot of dimension, like a lot of um, like rainbow colors in it. Really, really pretty um, when you get close up on that. And then I also have this Queen Phyllis Matte that I have not opened or used at all. Um, and I think there's a regular Queen Phyllis too, which is a little bit more on the shimmery side. That's why this one is called matte. Um, but those four are loose shadows. What I will do is I will swatch, like I said, all of those and I will give you a close up of those swatches. Okay, I'm going to move back to blushes, bronzers, and highlights again real quick because I have two face palettes that I want to mention that I want to pull into this basket. And the first one I've been trying to pull in for the last couple of weeks, but I've had so much stuff, um, so I haven't. But this is the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette, and this is in Naked Streak. This is the orangey shade one. So this is what this palette looks like right here. I love the shade of this bronzer right here. You have a highlight and you have a blush. All three of these products are super beautiful beautiful. This blush right here is very similar to the Tarte Classic shade that I am trying to pan for my Disney Princess project, but I love, love, love this particular Naked Flushed palette. Can't wait to use this. So excited that I am finally pulling this for this basket. And the next product that I wanted to pull is this Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette, and I don't know what this one is called, but it's called the Chrissy Teigen Glow Face Palette. It has a rose gold highlighter, hibiscus bloom blush, blush, Malibu Soleil bronzer, and a beach nectar highlighter. And um, this is what this palette looks like right here. Super beautiful. I am super excited about this beach nectar shade right here. This bronzer is a little bit on the glittery side, but I am super excited to try this as well. Really, really excited for this palette and using it this week. That is that, and we will segue back to the eyes, and I, before I decided I wanted to continue with my Naked 3 and bring in my Natural um, Loves palette from Too Faced, I decided I want a little more color to go along with those shadows that I pulled for Bare Minerals, and this is the Marc Jacobs The Siren palette. I have not used this since I purchased this. The clasp is broken, so it will not close, but... 
I purchased this like way, way, way back when, when Young Wild and Polish did her um, tutorial on this palette. She did a sunset eye look and I do plan to go back and watch that video and do that same eye look. But this has some gorgeous shades in it right here. Um, as you can see, it's got a white, red, yellow. I don't need to read those off to you, but they are beautiful, beautiful shades. And I thought that I could get a really nice um, look out of these blues as well. So I'm super excited to do some pops of color in the next couple of weeks with this palette. Um, I have brought in some new mascaras. I started using a I think an Estee Lauder mascara. I am using a couple of drugstore mascaras right now and I did not pull those or bring those out, but I will show those in my next makeup basket if I'm still using them. I know I'm using a Rimmel um, Lash Accelerator. Um, I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly. I just have um, different mascaras for different uses. I keep one in my purse in case I forget to put some on in, in the morning. Um, but what I'm really trying to do is do a natural bristle brush and a um, plastic bristle brush. That same thing that Liv's loves her, Liv loves her makeup does. Um, she layers those, so I've really been trying to do that and they work out well for me. Uh, I really like that method. But for my brows, I decluttered my, or just, you know, let go of my Anastasia Beverly Hills chocolate brow gel because it was starting to smell, it was starting to separate, so I got rid of that. But I got this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara in the shade Blonder Over Yonder, and I'm really enjoying this. This isn't too terribly blonde for me, but it's not, um, you know, too warm either, so that's really, really nice. Um, so I've been using this. Um, so that's it for eyes and just real quick I'm going to do lips so I'm going to try and use those um, lip glosses that I carried over from the last basket I don't know what just happened there when I tried to say over um, but I also have these two lip glosses from Bare Minerals they're ready um, marvelous moxie uh, one is from the kit that came with the Ready for the Beach Bronzer, and this is in the shade Party Starter. This is a nice orangey shade. In fact, I really think that this is the one that Jen from Glam Moms either just put back or just pulled out for her next basket. Uh, it's a nice orangey shade, really, really pretty. Mine was leaking for some reason, so it's a little sticky. Um, and this is in the shade Glamorista, so it's a nice little pink shade that I could top over some of the lipsticks that I am currently using. And Silly Me pulled out a couple more lipsticks because I do have some lipsticks and projects that I'm working on that I want to try and actually get some good use out of rather than just using here or there. So these are the ones that I'm just going to use here or there while I focus on the ones that are in my project but this is the Chanel lipstick in Volage. I really enjoy this. This is a nice um, nudie kind of shade. Really really enjoy this. Wanted to go ahead and pull this back out plus I just love this packaging. You just push this in and this comes out and I just I love that. Um, and then the next one, yeah, it was just kind of calling my name. It was sitting there. This is the Urban Decay Alice Lip stick in it's a sheer shimmer lipstick and this is kind of like that fireball shade that like pink orange kind of shift it's a nude but and it goes on the lips nude but when you catch your lips in a in a certain light it is like a orangey kind of pink shift which is really cool I really enjoy this lipstick so that is it for my basket um i hope you guys enjoyed these always end up being really really long but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video